Marathon Dickinson Renewable Fuels Facility is a major economic driver for Stark County with 100 full-time employees and 20 contractors, $19 million in annual local wages and benefits, and $2.1 million in property taxes. Now the facility is getting a new addition that will increase the value of the renewable diesel produced there, keeping the large employer competitive in the long run. Marathon Dickinson Renewable Fuels Facility is the second largest renewable diesel refinery in the nation. It's teaming up with One Energy Enterprises, LLC. So there's three of them that are going to go right in the field out here and then two that are going to go on the far side. One Energy is installing five 2.3 megawatt wind turbines on site, providing up to 45% of Marathon's electricity. CEO Jeremy Kent started the company 11 years ago. Before I started this company, my background was working building big wind projects, and I was building you know, the big wind projects you see out in fields and you drive along highways. Um, and I realized that there was something more interesting out there, and it was trying to help end users actually take control and get the benefits that they wanted out of their, their own on-site generation needs. One Energy is now the largest installer of on-site wind energy in the country, helping companies take control of their utilities. A business where you can predict energy costs, right? If you think about any business and the variability that you see in utility pricing, it's pretty hard to bet an energy intensive business on you know utilities keeping costs down for you. The wind energy gives the renewable diesel more value in export markets with lower carbon fuel standards. You talk about facilities like this where they're measured on the end product's carbon intensity, that one of the best things you can do is control the inputs. And if you can lower the inputs for a facility like this, electricity being one of the major inputs, that has a very big impact at the end of the day and what the product that comes out of the end of this facility. We're talking about almost $20 million in wages and benefits for the employees here. Mike Higgins has been working for Marathon Petroleum for 24 years. He and his wife moved to Stark County from out of state back in May of 2020 to get involved with the new endeavor. Southern Illinois, much like North Dakota, is a lot of agriculture ground and oil production. So I've, I've grown up around it all my life, seen it all my life, and I've known that, hey, I want to get into that industry. Higgins tells KX that Marathon purchased the Dickinson facility in 2018. The company invested $500 million to convert the facility from crude oil to renewable diesel, launching in 2020. It's essentially, it's the same process. It's the difference is you're taking a different feedstock, which is soybean oil, corn oil, as opposed to a hydrocarbon crude oil. The feedstock, 3 million acres worth of corn and 1.5 million acres of soy, is brought to the facility by Railcar. ADM and Marathon Petroleum have announced a new soybean crushing plant in Spiritwood that will feed the Marathon facility. North Dakota Farmers Union Vice President Bob Coylan says it's welcome news for local soy producers. 750,000 acres or more of production will be crushed by this plant and sent to this plant in Dickinson to be made into biodiesel. So it has a huge influence on, on farmers and the prices they pay and the, and the freight they won't have to pay to go to another crushing plant. The refinery produces 12,000 barrels of renewable diesel per day. It's taken by train to the West Coast where it is shipped south to California. Reporting in Dickinson for KX News, I'm Josh Manny. One Energy will begin construction on the wind turbines after the winter and will be operating in late 2022, providing millions of additional investment and taxes to Stark County.